Welcome student. Let's learn how to multiply numbers. Here again we will learn how to multiply numbers by repeated addition and also by simple method with help of few examples. Let's first of all look what multiplication means. Multiply means to put things together where each group should be of same size. Multiplication is simple addition of the same amount over and over. Let's take an example to understand this. Samantha has three packets of jelly beans and each packet contains 51 jelly beans. Then how many jelly beans are there in total three packets? Now take a look at the solution. Since Samantha has three packets of jelly beans and there are 51 jelly beans in each packet. So total number of jelly beans in three packets will be simply 3 times 51. Which means simply we will add number 51 itself three times. So that will give us 51 plus 51 plus 51 which makes the total of 153. So we will say that 3 times 51 is simply 153. Now always remember this point that anything multiplied by 0 will always give 0. For example, we multiply 63 by 0 we are going to get simply number 0. Also, anything multiplied by 1 will give the number itself. For example, 1 multiplied by 42 will give 42. Now look at this. 3 cross 2 can be read as 3 times 2 which means simply add number 2 itself 3 times which gives the total as 6. Now 2 cross 3 can be read as 2 times 3 which means simply add number 3 itself 2 times which again gives the total as 6. So that means 2 times 3 is same as 3 times 2. Now before learning about multiplication method, let's see what is the definition of each terms in multiplication. First is product. It is the total number that is basically result of multiplication. Next is multiplier. These are basically several groups which are combined. And finally we have multiplicand. These are groups of similar size. Now let's learn how to multiply a two digit number by a single digit number. For this let's take an example wherein we need to multiply 32 by 5. We can multiply this by repeated addition also which means add 32 itself 5 times which will give us the total as 160. There is another way to try this that is simple multiplication. First of all place these numbers in the place value chart and multiply 5 with digit at 1's place that is 2. We get 10. Now carry 1 on the top of 3 and place 0 below 2 and 5. Now multiply 5 with 3 at 10's place we get 15. Now to this add 1 we get 16. So our final answer will be 160. Now let's try this. Circle out the correct answer in the given castle. First is 6 times 3. So 
So now move by 6th row and 3rd column. We simply get 18. We can do this another way around. Move by 6th column and 3rd row. We again get number 18. Now next is 9 times 5. Move by 9th row and 5th column. We get 45. Another way is move by 9th column and 5th row. We again get 45. Next is 10 times 4. Move by 10 column and 4th row. Or move by 10th row and 4th column. We get number 40. Similarly, we have 4 times 5, which will give us 20. 2 times 2, which will give us 4. 7 times 2, which will give us 14. 4 times 2, which will give us 8. 8 times 3, which will give us 24. 9 times 7, which will give us 63. Now let's learn how to multiply three digit number with a single digit number. For this, let's take an example of multiplying 236 by 3. First of all, place these numbers in a place value chart. Now start multiplying from left to right. 6 times 3 will give us 18. In 18, place 1 on top of 3 at tens place and 8 below 6 and 3 in 1's place. Now multiply 3 by 3 at tens place and add 1 to it. 3 times 3 gives us 9 and when we add 1 we get 10. Now in 10 place 1 on top of 2 and 0 below digit at tens place. Now multiply 3 by 2 at hundreds place and add 1 to it. So 3 times 2 gives us 6 and when we add 1 we get 7. So our final answer will be 708. Let's learn how to multiply a two digit number by a two digit number. Let's take an example of multiplying 26 by 16. First of all, place one number above the other so that the hundreds, tens, and ones are lined up. Now multiply the numbers in the ones place. We know that 6 times 6 gives us 36. Now this number is larger than 2. So place 3 above tens place column and place 6 below the line in the ones place column. Now multiply the digit in the top tens place column. That is 2 by the digit in the lower ones place column. That is 6. The answer is simply 12. Now add to it 3, we get 15. So 26 times 6 will give us 156. Similarly multiply 26 by 1, we get 26. Now change 26 as 260 and place below 156. And finally add these two numbers. We get the answer as 416. So 26 times 16 is simply 416. Now this brings us to the end of this session. See you in the next session. Goodbye.